Welcome back to this special chat with Dr. N.K. Singh. Uh, in the earlier part of the discussion, he was wearing the hat of uh, the co-convener of the independent expert group of the G20. But now I'm requesting him to wear the hat of uh, the f uh, chairman of the 15th Finance Commission, uh, which is, of course, done and dusted and the recommendations accepted. But now the 16th Finance Commission will have to be appointed in this uh, 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 fiscal year. So, Dr. Singh, that question to you. We don't have much time to just cut to the chase. Uh, do you think one of the key uh, uh, you know, points before this Finance Commission is to put a cap on this increase in cesses? You know, although your Finance Commission asked for 42% of the shareable resources to go to the states, effectively only around 30 or 35% gets passed on because 18.5% of the shareable resources come in the form of cesses and they are not shared. So do you think a cap is called for? This is outside the mandate letter of any finance commission. We were not oblivious of this. Mm. The fact that the share of cesses and surcharges have crept up substantially in recent years was something which we were deeply conscious of. Mm. Do even during our deliberations. But the rectification of this latter mm. is not in the hands of the Finance Commission. Okay. This requires a constitutional amendment. Okay. Please recall that in the year 2000, at the time of the 10th Finance Commission, while the divis definition of the divisible pool was enlarged to include all taxes, which means not any proportion, which included corporate tax, all indirect taxes in the, in the pool of the divisible pool, it left out cesses and surcharges. So to address this, it will require a constitutional amendment, okay. which uh, is not in the hands of, of any finance commission. Okay. It is in the hands of parliament to make the necessary amendment. Okay if they wish to cap in any way the percentage which should go in cess and such as. And equally, I would imagine that there are other important issues on which uh, the, the, it's only parliament which can, which can take a view. For instance, the issue of uh, whether or not union territory should be included okay. uh, is an issue which, on which the it's not the Finance Commission which has a latitude. Or, for instance, why some parts of the recommendation of the Finance Commission, as some chief ministers have recently pointed out, not mm. been implemented, this, the President and Parliament is not obliged to in any way accept all the recommendations okay. of the Finance Commission. Because if you see the first part, it said, to recommend the uh, shareable taxes and for an action taken report to be presented to Parliament on each of the recommendations which have been made. It yes. does not bind yes. the sovereign to accept all the recommendations. Okay. So these are areas which are outside the ambit of any finance commission. Yeah. They are in the realm of what Parliament chooses to do. Absolutely. I mean, the Fiscal Council was recommended by the 14th Finance Commission. A loan council was recommended, by, I think, by the 13th Finance Commission. Uh, the Parliament is not obliged. The President is not obliged uh, to accept all those. I take your point on that. Very quickly, sir, last question. Uh, do you want the uh, uh, proposed 16th Finance Commission to take up anything in terms of merit subsidies? Uh, you know, even this old pension scheme has now become uh, an issue. Do you think they should comment something on that, on the nature of subsidies? So, you see, this will be part of the calculus. Okay. Subsidies are an expenditure, and you have to estimate what expenditure norm should be. You have to, of course, also estimate on the norms uh, on revenue buoyancy and so on. Okay. So, this is part of the process which any finance commission has to take including the outgo on account of subsidies, merit or otherwise, is a matter of definition okay. and a matter of interpretation. But certainly there is no escape from an analysis of expenditure and an analysis on the sort of 
revenue buoyancy okay. which can be estimated. Okay. So actually, I, you've just whetted our appetite uh, as and when the 16th Finance Commission is appointed. Uh, we will hope to have you again on the channel and to elaborate on what uh, ought to be, should be the, uh, you know, the direction that the 16th Finance Commission should take. Uh, that debate for another day. Thank you very much for sparing time for us at CNBC TV. Thank you very much, Lata. Thanks.